Hi, hello, hello. Good morning. I mean, good evening. I'm so saying to say good evening. Hallelujah. And good to have everybody on the line. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Bless the name of the Father. Bless the name of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Bless his holy name. Good to have everybody. Good evening. Hallelujah. How's everybody doing today? Hallelujah, everybody. Good to have you on here tonight. Amen. Tonight, I will be praying and ministering to you by the direction of the Holy Spirit. Good evening, Shirley. How you doing? Woman of God, God bless you. Anybody else want to say hello? Hello. How you doing tonight? Amen. Amen. I'm ready for the conference that I have this weekend. And uh, that's what we're preparing for the conference. And good to have. Uh, I'm just ready for it. I'm just excited what God's going to do. And I'm sorry that some couldn't make it. But maybe next time you'll make it next year. Amen. Hallelujah. And I know that God is moving. Father, I thank you that your presence is going to be on the line tonight. Amen. And you're going to move in such a way like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, or even into the hearts of men, what you got prepared for them that love you. And I know you have great plans for all of us. Hallelujah. I thank God that we are part of this greatness, that your movements that you're giving doing our lives of your people. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for choosing us in such a time like this. Thank you, God, for uh, working things in our life for your glory. Hallelujah. And we just praise your name tonight. Amen. And give you the honor and glory. But you alone are worthy to be praised for the rising up and the going down. And I plead the blood Jesus on this line. I know that the Lord Jesus is going to have his way on the line. And I know he's going to move in such a way like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I know life is going to be turned around in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I'm just expecting, Lord, for the best because you do the best. Hallelujah. I don't expect no less because you do in the fullness and you always give us double more than we ask for. So I think your greatness is going to be on here. I think you're going to move. Amen. No matter what the people challenge on the line, I know that you're already turning things around in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I know that you're moving right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I just give you praise that we're going to see such a great movement of your of of of, of, of you like before in the lives of the people in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, good evening, Kathy, a prophetess. How you doing? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I almost had the, the grandbaby on tonight. Amen. I didn't want to get at my arm. Amen. I had to get on. I said, I got to get on the line. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Well, anyway, I want to say I want to pray for everyone tonight. I minister to everyone tonight. Amen. Because I know that God's going to move in such a way in your life. Amen. The word of God said, eyes are not seen. Uh, is and I heard uh, even into the hearts of man what God got prepared for you because he love you. Amen. I just see great things that God uh, wants to do in the life of the people. You know, prayer is the key. Prayer is the answer. Prayer that changes things around. Prayer move mountains. And you know, people that's not pray enough with all this going on in the world, you should be praying. He said, my people that are called by my name in uh, Second Chronicles 7, 14 will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and they'll hear from heaven. But well, tonight we are going to be praying, amen, for you, me and the Holy Ghost, are praying according to your will and praying that your needs be met. I know it's going to be met because I want my faith and not my sight. I have seen God move mountains. I've seen God turn things around. I've seen God take an impossible situation and turn around and make it good. So I know that God's going to move for each one of you. I know the changes are coming. I know breakthroughs are coming. I know miracles are coming. I know turnarounds are coming. I know there's going to be a fresh presence of the Holy Ghost. Be on the line tonight, like now for and gonna move in all areas of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Because prayer is very essential. Prayer is very important. Amen. And a, a lot of time we think we pray enough, but we don't pray enough. Amen. Because there's so much going on. I'm trying to get my uh, my glasses on right, and it don't want to go up right. So you know, these are reading glasses. Amen. You know how reading glasses. Amen. But I want you to know that God is moving for you. Amen. I want you to be encouraged. I don't want you to be down and out. Amen. With all the bad news, there's no good news on. You turn on, there's nothing good on, and there's nothing good is saying, amen, praise God. And the Christians should be encouraged that there is a great plan for God. Even though we see all these things that happen, even though these are perilous times and troubled times, even though we see people coming, we know that God is moving, hallelujah. And we know that the devil is defeated by the blood of Jesus Christ, amen, hallelujah. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like. He's already defeated. He always lost the battle already. And no matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like, you already won the battle. Nothing can change the plans of God. Amen. Once you make your mind up and have that faith in God, you have the trust in God. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it seems like. I know that God can move any mountain side to love. I know that God can turn stuff around. So the enemy is trying to twist your mind and make you think that, ha, 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 where's your God at? But you tell him God is closer than ever before. 
and God is moving for you greater than ever before in the mighty name of Jesus. Never look at the issue. Never decide because the way it looks. Always uh, look at what God can do. Amen. Hallelujah. And we look at what it is. We'll never believe and never receive what God is saying. Amen. But I'm telling you, God is moving. Amen. When I begin to look at the news and I look at Facebook, I say, oh, nothing but bad news, bad news. But see, the greatest breakthrough don't come when everything look good. The greatest breakthrough come when everything don't look good. And that God begins to bring changes. He begins to shift the atmosphere. Even though they say about the quad virus and all this other stuff. But there's no quad virus that God cannot stop. Amen. That can stop what God has for you. Amen. So I don't look at what it is. I know what God says. I know what he can do. Amen. I know that God's moving in your situation. I know that God's already turned around because I want my faith and not my sight. And so we're in, a, we're in a place now that God is looking for people to walk in faith. To believe what I see and that whatever he has spoken is already done in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe God changes in your husband. I believe God changed your husband to be, your wife, your wife to be, your children, your job, your business, your ministry. I believe that God is changing the surrounding around you. I believe that God is moving those mountains out of the way. I believe that God's moving the hinges out of the way, the obstacles, stumbling blocks. He moving everything that's in the way that's trying to stop the change and plan of God. But I come to tell you, nothing can stop what God has already predestinated, ordained for you to have. Let me say it again. Nothing can stop what God has already predestined for you to have. Amen. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it seems like. Whatever God has I promise you, whatever challenge you're going through right now, it will not work in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So good evening once again. I see Lucille. I miss Lucille. I see God is moving. Now, for the last few weeks, you've been attacked in your body. You have not been saying anything because you're, you're doing your best to walk in faith. But I come to tell you, that attack that you've been going through for the last three weeks is just a miracle. It's going to happen in your life. It is the enemy is trying to deceive you. It's the enemy is trying to fool you. And try to stop you believe that God is not moving. I come to tell you tonight, God is moving for you, uh, uh, Minister Lucille, in more ways than you can imagine, even on your granddaughter. Even though you may not have seen it, but God is moving. Hallelujah. I want you to just begin to give God the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that's happened to you 35 years ago, it's just like, it looked like it's going to re, uh, uh, restart again, but God said it won't start. God told me to tell you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Even though enemy is trying to stir up problems and trying to bring in trouble. But I come to tell you tonight that God is moving for you speedily. God is turning things around. Hallelujah. It may not seem like it. It may not look like it. But I come to tell you God is moving for you, precious, as quick as you can imagine. Amen. Hallelujah. But see, the enemy wants you to think that he wants you to give up. That's all he wants you to do. He really wants you to give up because he wants you to think that God has forgot about you. I come to tell you tonight, if God has forgot about you, I wouldn't be on the line tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I want y'all to begin to see the way God wants you to see. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a war going on, and the war is not in the flesh. The war affair is in the spirit. Amen. So I speak divine breakthroughs in your life right now, Minister Lucia. I break that spirit of witchcraft and the curse that come against you right now in Jesus' name. It's been going on from childhood. Amen. Praise God. You always had to fight the way and, and uh, winning things. And God said, this is your time. Speak Holy Ghost. This is your time. This is your year that you will see a change to the Lord. Amen. So God said, he wants you to stay faithful. Amen. You had a place right now that God is saying, stay faithful. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like. God said, stay faithful because he uh, is moving for you. He is turning things around for you like never before. Hallelujah. But the enemy wants you to think that he's not. But I come to tell you, if you believe and receive it, you're going to see the movement of God in your life. Minister Lucia, you're going to see things turn around like never before. Hallelujah. I see God because of his grace and that, 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 thank you, Holy Spirit, that yoke, amen, that thing, that wedge was put in between and your family is broken, amen. I see the third generation of witchcraft, amen, manipulation of your great grandma seed is trying to destroy the seed now. But the Lord say it will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I see restoration coming. I see recoveries coming to you right now in Jesus' name. So only God wants you to do is believe and receive it, amen, and don't let the enemy tell you nothing else. For the next 12 days, next 5 to 12 days, within those 5 days, if you take hold to what God said, the word of God said in Second Chronicles 20, 20, if you believe in the Lord that God, so shall the word be established. Amen. It shall be approved, uh, uh, supported already by God. If you take hold what God promised you, amen, you're going to see the manifestation. You're going to see the, the prayers be the prayers answered, and you're going to see God turn around immediately in your life. Amen. 
So you got to believe it. Don't look at what it is because if you start looking at what it is, you're going to miss what God is saying. So God said, believe it and receive it. It's already done. Hallelujah. The yoke has been destroyed. Amen. Hallelujah. The pain that you've been suffering in your chest. Amen. In the lower part of your back, the fire of the Holy Ghost is touching right now. You're going to begin to feel the fire going down your back right now. You're going to feel the movement of the Holy Spirit touching you right now. That's the movement of God right now, of the Holy Spirit right now. We give God the glory. Hallelujah. That is touching you right now in your lower part of your back. Amen. So the healing of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to do something that you could not do. I want you to begin to move and your back. Amen. You know, go over, you know, bend over. Amen. And you're going to see a change. Amen. You're going to see that pain that you was carrying. It's been moving right now in Jesus' name. And we don't get, we're going to give God the glory for moving right now for you. That pain is disappearing. Amen. Hallelujah. And somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Not only the pain. Amen. Hallelujah. The suffering of your breathing. Amen. Like you can't breathe. And God say he's, he's restoring your breathing. Amen. You're going to start breathing. That's going to be a cool air that's going to come on you right now. And that is the presence of God of the fire of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now. That's the presence of the fire of the Holy Ghost is touching you. That cool breeze is touching you. And that's the presence of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now. I want you to believe and receive it. Do you feel that new self? That is the Holy Spirit. All glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is touching you right now. I believe it and receive it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I also see some money that was owed to you about 15 years ago, 8 to 15 years ago, and it was hell up. I don't know what's going on, but I see God say release if you stay faithful as you pay your tithes and your giving. Don't let the enemy twist your mind. Continue to stay faithful. You're going to see the restoration of the money that is due to you. Come to you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you. Somebody give God the glory. Somebody give God the glory. Hallelujah. Somebody give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you just got a letter the other day, and it says that things are not look like it's going to work out for you. But I come tell you, the devil's a liar, and there's no truth in him. God is moving for you, and he's turning things around. If you believe and receive it, it's done. Uh, Minister Lucille, it's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, your body that was was feeling like, like uh, 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 feel like you was out of it and feel like you was exhausted, you're going to feel the energy of the Holy Spirit touching you, the strength, I mean, energy of the strength of the Spirit of God touching you right now. Hallelujah. From the crown of your head to your feet right now. Hallelujah. That the timid and the faint that you feel, amen, is going away right now in the name of Jesus. The headache is gone right now. The pressure that was on your head has been moved right now, and you're going to feel the difference in your head right now. You're going to feel a difference right now touching you if you believe and receive it it's done hallelujah you know what i'm talking about minister lucille say amen if you can't say it, but also i believe it and receive it see we have to believe and receive it at the same time if we believe and receive it then we see the manifestation of god move hallelujah and it's just amen hallelujah do you believe and receive it uh, uh lucille is done in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise god hallelujah do you do you believe it lucille Hallelujah. It's done. Amen. How do you feel right now? Tell me how you feel, Minister Lucia. Tell me how you feel. You should be feeling much better right now. Have you? Tell me how you feel. You should be feeling much better right now. Hallelujah. Tell me how you feel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you feel better? I know you feel better because the Holy Spirit is touching you right now. Hallelujah. You should be feeling 100% better. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to talk personally, our prophet is Natalie. We'll put the information you can Talk to me from the conference line if you talk loud. Amen. If you just want to put the comment, ask uh, uh, want me to pray. This is your night. Amen. I will pray for you. Amen. But if you want to say something, you have a dream and vision that you want God to uh, uh, interpret through me, uh, let me know and uh, get on there if I can talk to you. Amen. Shirley Cox, uh, uh, that's what it is. Shalisa Cox, Shalisa, Shalisa Cox. Amen. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, trouble does not last always. Amen. Hallelujah. I see God moving. There has some things have been bite fire on you for a long time. Amen. And God said that he's getting ready to move those issues out the way. Amen. It's almost like weight you down. I hear the Holy Spirit say it's almost like weight you down. Well, I hear the Spirit of God say it won't weight you down from this day on. God is getting ready to move those things out the way. Amen. There's some 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 shackles going to be broken around you. It's a lot of family issue. But God said, I'm going to move for you in a way that you've never seen before. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I see joy. It's been restored to you. I see things that should have happened to you 18, 15 years ago. It's been restored, said the Lord. So get ready. Amen. You're going to see changes happen. You're going to see miracles happen in your life. Amen. The enemy tried to tie it down and hold you back. And God said the enemy would not be able to tie this down and hold you back because God is releasing it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 14, 27. 
whatever God has planned for you, it won't be changed. Enemy cannot change a plan. Amen. So the force of darkness is coming against you. Manipulation. I try to come against your mind. I see even uh, at night you can't sleep even well. You have to start sleeping better than you ever before. I said the Lord started tonight. Amen. As you let rest and sleep, the spirit of God is going to give you such a peace. Chalice, amen. Going to give you such a peace. Hallelujah. Like never before. Do you understand where I'm coming from, Chalice? Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to have peace. Amen. That spirit that's been agitating you. Amen. And try to aggravate you and put a fear upon you. It's broken right now. I see it's loose in the name of Jesus Christ. And all about shut it. I see angels around you. You're going to feel a peace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Begin to speak more, Holy Spirit. You're going to feel a peace come around you. It's surrounded right now. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. It's done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you're touching your children. I don't know. How many children do you have, Chalice? How many children do you have, Chalice? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many children do you have? Shalice Cots, how many children do you have? I'm talking to the last name is Cots. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's your last name Cots. Amen. I'm talking to her right now. Amen. Hallelujah. How many children do you have? Shalice? Okay. Um, from the baby on up, the baby uh, child. Amen. I see your son. You've been more concerned about your son, but God's going to move in the area with your son. So I want you to believe and receive it as done. The enemy has been really attacking your mind. I see the spirit of depression. I try to stretch you out. I break that off you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a, there's a fire of the Holy Ghost around you. The anointing fire around you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon that is formed against you. And your children shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The yoke has been broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The witchcraft has been broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In fact, you should have been dead. You should have been born dead because you shouldn't be here. But God has uh, has you for a purpose. Amen. That purpose because he loves you. Your family may not understand. They may not like you. But God has you for a purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry about the sun. God is moving in that sun. Amen. That's what he says. Amen. And that purpose, you was born here. You, uh, you feel sometimes... You would like you feel that you should have never born, but see what you feel like. It don't make no difference because you're here for the glory of God. Amen. So God told me to encourage you. The best is going to come for you. Amen. You know, things that have been hold up is going to be released to you. Amen. And the tie up your family. Amen. Your family, you know, amen, has uh, uh, come against you. There's a lot of discrepancy. Thank you, Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit speak. Holy Ghost. There's a lot of division, but God is breaking that yoke right now in the name of Jesus. That angry, moving out the way, that angry, amen, the bitterness, moving out, and you got to forgive and let go. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's been a tie up because you've been hurt, hurt mentally and hurt inside uh, your heart, and God is healing you. As you open your heart and let God heal you, then you're able to forgive them that they hurt you, said the Lord. This has stopped your, your blessings. So as you release it to God, amen, hallelujah, God is, is going to turn things around for you immediately because God loves you very much. Amen. The devil has lied to you and said, well, if he love you, why you go through that? Well, we all go through something. But that don't mean that God don't love us. That means that you have been called and chosen by God. And those are chosen. See, the devil don't mess with those. Ain't doing the same thing. He messed with those that are, are doing something. And you have made decisions. You say, why my prayers not answer? And God it has moved for you. This is not the question of why you're on here. It's because, amen, that God is moving for you now. And so with the next 12, 13, 14 days, you are going to, within those 12, 13 days, you will see this change start manifesting in your life. You're going to see the movement like never before in your life. Like never before, you're going to see breakthroughs. Amen. And that is going to be a financial breakthrough for you, said the Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 God's going to send you. Yeah, send my husband. He's going to send you a husband. Yes, sir. He's going to send you a husband. Amen. I didn't see no husband. That's why he's saved by the husband. Amen. I'm, I'm going to talk about you married now. Amen. God send my husband. He's going to send you. That's why he say marriage. But I see marriage is coming. Amen. This man is going to approach you. Amen. I hear the Holy Spirit. He's a businessman. And it also is a pastor. So you're going to be a first lady. Don't think you're not qualified. God sees in you more than you can see. So you got a lot of gifts in you. Amen. And you, your own enemy, you put yourself down. But God is stirring up the gifts in you. You have a prophetic ministry. And you've been fought so hard. And people don't really receive you. But God receives you. That's all that matters. If he receives you, that's all that matters. Don't worry. Don't be concerned about what people think. That's what God said. Your biggest issue is you're concerned about what people say. Just like your family. Let it go. God thinks about you more than you can imagine. Hallelujah. So I release that right now. I break that spell, that curse that was put against you, that you will never be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that spirit of, of no progress and statement, statementation that's on your life from this day on. 
You're going to see the greatness and the manifestation of life like never before, Shirley. And uh, Shalice, amen. This is your time, this season. It has been broken right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I didn't know what I was going to do tonight, but God want me to minister and pray for the people. It's been released as a prophetess, as an apostle of God, and with, along with a prophetic ministry. God is breaking the past, and you shall see. When God tells me something, it comes to pass. Not when I say it. Believe and receive it for the next 12, 14 days. Within those 12, 14 days, you're going to see a change. Amen. And also, you're going to meet the man that God has for you. Amen. It's not your will, but God's will. This man is going to love you. Amen. going to understand you. Amen. Because you need somebody to understand you and talk to you. Amen. Because your communication, that when you have uh, communicated with other men, and there was no communication. But this man will be communication, say the Lord. So get ready. God heard your prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. This is your time. This is your season. The shifting has already started. The shift means the shipping of change in your life is going to be better. Amen. The Bible said your latter days are going to be greater than your former days. So you're going to see the great movement. You're going to see the change come like never before. Say the Lord. So get ready. Get ready because it's moved right now in Jesus' name. It's sealed by the Holy Ghost and covered with the blood. Therefore, the devil will not be able to stop what God has already ordained for you to have. So I want to believe and receive it as not. Believe and receive it as not. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want you to begin to praise God like never before. I begin to we begin to praise God and begin to pray in the spirit. Do you speak in tongues? You need to speak in tongues more. The more you speak in tongues and pray in tongues, the power for the anointing will get upon your life. Amen. So God is moving for you. Amen. So get ready. You can get ready to see the change. Say the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. I close and seal the blessing for you that the devil will not be able to steal today what God has promised for you. Uh, 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 least, amen. This is your time, this is your season. You will see the miracles happen like never before. God's getting ready to blow your mind. Can you get your mind blown? Hallelujah. So, the things were held back, it's been released right now. So, I want you to just begin to give God the praise, hallelujah, and begin to say, Victory is mine. Say the Lord, Victory is mine. Say the Lord, hallelujah, it's yours, hallelujah. In the spirit of God, say, The enemy would not be able to put no chain over what he has promised you. The chain has been broken. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, hallelujah. The chain has been broken, uh, uh, Shalice. Amen. This is your time. You will see it. So get ready, get ready, get ready. That's going to give you double for your trouble. Amen. Even when you felt like giving up, you stood in there. So you was tested and said, God made it understand. I feel like giving up. And you press it anyhow. And because of that, you allow his grace to get stronger. And so this day, you will see the victory today. That's good. I want you to start saying victory is yours. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Do you believe and receive what God told you? Jalice, amen. Believe it. Hallelujah. It is done. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's over with. Hallelujah. Even when back to God's healing you when you was 5 to 12 years old. Amen. All that you went through, the uh, the I see molestation of uh, uh, the family. Amen. All that is 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 turned around, amen. This is your time that you will see the miracles happen in your life, amen. Like number four, amen. So you just start praising God because the victory is yours, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Surely, because you have uh, uh you have you received it, Shalice, it's done. Hallelujah. Medicine tonight. You receive it, Shalice. Good. God bless you. Watch and see God move. I want you to come back and testify. Amen. What God did. Amen. I know he's going to move because he don't tell me more. I trust God. I have faith in God. I don't have no doubt that God is moving for you. It's already done. Hallelujah. Shirley, amen. You say you hung in there and you, you stay faithful and you obey what God say. Amen. The word of God said, 1 Corinthians 2, 9, said, I said, I seen. He is and I heard. I even entered the hearts of man what God got prepared for you. God has great things prepared for you, Shirley. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I see even, I hear God say marriage, new marriage, marriage. Amen. It's going to be a marriage. Amen. Hallelujah. You are definitely getting ready to, uh, uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, meet your husband. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, honorable man, a uh, man of, a uh, 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 man of honor, a uh, uh, man that knows how to treat a woman. And you get ready to meet him. Hallelujah. Somebody give God the glory. Hallelujah. Don't be concerned about your children. Because of your of your concern about your children, amen, release them to God. He got them. Nothing's going to happen to them. They're going to preach the gospel. Amen. One is called to be a prophet. Amen. Uh, the young, the man, the boy is called to be a prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. And God's going to move for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Like number four, said the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Praise God, your body, God's touching your body. He's sprinting you right now. I want you to receive it. It's done in Jesus' name. He's sprinting you with the crown of head. you kind of weaken your body right now. Amen. God is putting a sprint in your body. Believe it and receive it. It's done. I want you to believe it and receive it. It's done right now. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. God, God is sprinting your body right now. Receive it right now. It's done, surely. Hallelujah. You're going to feel the strength come in your body. Hallelujah. And it's like a cool breeze going to blow over you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A cool breeze. Hallelujah. I don't know. I, I pick it up. I got a little fever. You got a little fever. God's taking that way. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a divine healer on the line that's touching right now. Amen. And your your fatigue of um, your weakness and God is sprinting you right now. You're gonna feel the fire touching you right now, or oh, surely, hallelujah. You're gonna feel the script coming from your crown of your head to your feet, amen. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now from the crown of your head to your feet, amen. Hallelujah. And touching your lungs. I don't know what's wrong with your lungs, but God touch your lungs, amen. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. God's touching your lungs. It's done in the name of Jesus Christ. He's touching your lungs. The breathing, hallelujah, that you could not breathe. He's opened it up. There's a cool breeze, but a breathing on you. And that is the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's breathing on you right now. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Surely it's already done. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's taking care of the matters for you. You don't have to worry about it because your faithfulness to God, the enemy tried to kill you. But God said, when the devil meant evil, God is turning around and make it good. For the last 35 years, you have been working hard to make sure that things work out for you, especially you have put yourself on a burner and for your children. You can release it now. God got your children. They are going to be what God wants to be. Now he wants you to be concerned about you because you get ready to have to change your life. You get ready to get married. Amen. You get ready to see things happen in your life. So now God wants you to relax, amen, enjoy what he's got for you, and watch what God do for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I give God the glory, hallelujah, the fire of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. The fire, the fire, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is on the line tonight, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, our prophetess Tina, amen, Tina, prophetess Tina, amen. Once again, this is one first word that I say earlier. Are you there, prophetess Tina? This is for you. Your faithfulness, obedience to God, your willingness of humility to God, your willingness to walk with God, your willingness to be faithful to the ministry and faithful as my uh, assistant. God said you have not seen nothing yet. The favor of God will be upon you. Hallelujah. Like never before. When you go, you're going to get favor. Amen. Because you choose to be faithful, obedient. And God said, the favor will be upon you like never before. Somebody say, amen, hallelujah. Receive it, it's done, hallelujah. That's enough there, grace, 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 even more spoken. And I want to speak grace on her. I speak grace on everybody on the line tonight as well. Glenda Berry, the time is here for you. The time that I, I hear that the clock is ticking, amen. And it seems like the clock is not ticking even fast for you, Glenda. Amen, but God say, and he is moving for you faster. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. The clock is ticking for you. You're going to see the breakthroughs. You're going to see the miracles, said the Lord God. Hallelujah. This is your time. Amen. There was a, a interference. Amen. Uh, for, uh, for the last two weeks. Uh, amen. You've been challenging your faith. You've been challenged in your walk. Amen. Hallelujah. You've been challenged your faith and challenged walk. But God is breaking that yoke right now. Amen. Get ready. Get ready. It is. What is it, it is what God told you it is, and it's going to be what it is for God said it is. No matter what it is, it's whatever that you're going to take with God. It's already changing it. God is already moving, receiving. It's done. Hallelujah. You're going to get a check in the mail. You've been expecting. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's not no little money. It's, it's some money. It was money that is lending there. It was money that was held back. Amen. Hallelujah. It was money that was held back for you. Amen. And God said, believe, receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive it is done. Amen. Believe and receive it. And that check is in the mail. That's for you, say the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody give me praise. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about a stimulus check. This is money that was due to you several years back. Amen. And Glenda there, are you there? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe and receive it? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe and receive it? It's done. Hallelujah. Praise God, somebody, for that. Amen. Will you praise God for somebody else? And God move for you as well. Hallelujah. 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 Natalie, God is saying, Prophet Natalie, he's taking you to a new level like you never before. And you're going to see things happen for you, Natalie, like never before. Amen. Hallelujah. Your home is going to be precious. And God said, just ask and I shall give it to you. Ha! That's something to shout about. Amen. 
God said, ask and you shall receive, seek you shall find, and not the door shall be opened because your faithfulness, amen, your faithfulness to God, your faithfulness of being obedience, amen, in the prayer, amen, when times that you your body was tired, you didn't feel good, you said, Lord, I'm going to be faithful anyway, give me the strength, and because you say faithful, you didn't depend on your strength, amen, God said, ask and it shall be done. And that's something to shout about. He said, as you ask and receive it, you will see the greatness God move in your marriage, move in your children. Amen. I just see a big, big, big house for you. Amen. Or like a mansion. Amen. God's going to give you to you because your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't look at how much it costs. Don't look at how you're going to get it. But God has honored you for what you have done. Amen. Your obedience has turned God on. So God is moving for you in a way it's going to blow your mind. And not only going to blow your mind, it's going to blow the people around you. Amen. Because they don't think it could happen. Your family going to say, amen. Hallelujah. Your family going to say, don't worry about your children. Don't worry about your boys. God got that. Amen. God got everything. Amen. He's got your husband, got your children, got your mama, got everybody. So don't worry about it. He said, I got everything. The devil will not baby to destroy it, will have ordained for you to have, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you believe it, prophet? This not that it's already done. Sealed by the Holy Ghost and touched with the blood. Hallelujah. It's already done. So what the devil meant evil, God has already turned around and make it good. Hallelujah. You are going to see the overflow in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to see, a, and I see increases coming to you. God said, increases coming to you. Believing and receiving is done. Increases coming to you. I only, not only will speak increase on her life, but I speak increase on everybody on the life tonight that you're not on here in accident because God got me to minister to you. Don't take it lightly. When God tells me something, it always comes to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. So God has made to minister to you for a reason to release. Amen. So it's done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Rashia. Hallelujah. I just hear Kimberly Lynn uh, Norma uh, Ellison. I see God say, rock the boat. Amen. Hallelujah. Rock the boat. You get ready to rock the boat. God's getting ready to get rid of all that that was in that boat that's trying to stop what God has for you. Amen. He's rocking the boat in words. He's shaking everything off. Amen. That was hold back for you for the last 838 30, 30, years. I don't know how old you, but uh, uh, eight, eight, 18, I see 38. I don't know what's, what's the name of 38 years. Do you know it's talking about 30? How old are you? Uh, I'm not trying to get your age. Uh, wait, wait, who I'm talking about? I'm talking to Kimberly. Where are you, Kimberly? Kimberly Ellison, where are you? Kimberly Lynn Norman Ellington. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just hear God say the number 38. Amen. The number 38. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And number 38, I don't know you, uh, uh, it's around the age 38, but I see God moving for you, Kimberly. Amen. Hallelujah. I see God moving for you. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the, the shortest in your life is not going to be no more, said the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to talk to Kimberly. You need to come back on, Kimberly. Amen. Hallelujah. God is speaking to you. Y'all moving too fast. Amen. God is moving tonight. Amen. The Holy Spirit is ministering to you. Amen. You have to believe it and receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Hallelujah. What's the number 38? Uh, what's 38? How old are you, Kimberly? Amen. He's about the 38 up there. Hallelujah. You're 57. Okay, I don't know what happened 38 years ago, but that is broken off for you. Amen. It's like time you get to a certain place, it's like something stopped right there. But God said that 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 shadow of darkness that's trying to stop what God has for you for 38 years is broken. Amen. For this day on, the changes has been gone for your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God said the changes, it will start to begin in your life. Amen. You will not have to go through what you went before 38 years. I see break big breakthroughs coming in your life. Hallelujah. Big changes. Hallelujah. You're more concerned about your family. And that's good. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, I don't know you're going to accept this, but this is the Holy Spirit saying you have a pastoral anointing. On. Are you pastoring? Amen. You have such a love for people. Amen. Kimberly, are you there? Kimberly Lynn Normal Ellington, are you pastoring? God told me a pastoral anointing on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you there? Okay. You have a like a shepherd anointing on your life. Amen. A caring. You care about the people. Amen. Is that true, Kimberly? I need you to answer me. Amen. 
So God, the Holy Spirit said, not me, the Holy Spirit is speaking there. You have a pastoral anointing on you. Amen. Because you, have, you love. God's raising up people who we never thought raised up. Amen. That you have such a, 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 a protection over people. You care about people. And God put it in there. You have such a love of people. And, you know, the Bible said, bless are the pure heart, but they shall see God. Amen. Your heart is pure more than you could think. Amen. So I see God is saying, they have been fired against you, challenged you by the devil, amen, trying to discourage you. But I want to encourage you. You have been handpicked by God, amen, for such a time like this to be raised up, to be pastoral over a church, amen, hallelujah, amen, to help the people because God is uh, raising up people that we never thought were going to be, amen. You have that, amen, hallelujah. Uh, you are you're a minister, but you are a pastor. You got a pastoral anointing, amen. I don't say stuff unless God say it. I don't put people in office. I don't choose people. God chooses. Amen. One thing I let God will be done, not my will be done. But you definitely have a pastoral anointing because you love people. Amen. And the day is coming that you will be pastoring. And uh, that's what God wants. Amen. Hallelujah. The strong anointing because you're caring. You reach out to people. You got such a, a loving heart. They have mis uh, uh, misunderstood you in a lot of places because they see something else. But see, God sees beyond what man sees. He see, see your heart. And you have a beautiful heart. And so this is your year that you're going to see the changes. And I see the doors going to be open for you to get at the a place that you begin to do this, what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. It may start a few, but that's okay. It's going to increase if, as you be obedient to God. It's going to start growing. Amen. Because you have that pastoral anointing on you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And as you let his will be done, whatever you need, God's going to move for you. Hallelujah. And I love this saying, said, not my will, but your will be done against my, my, your will be done against my will. That's what you say, your will be done against my will. So that's what God wants. And as you do that, things are going to move for you. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to learn your breast to change. We may not understand, but God does things his, his way. You're going to see things move, especially in your family. Amen. That been, uh, hurts and uh and uh, hurts and I heard some misguidance of, of lies and stuff is saying, but God's going to do a healing in your family. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen, hallelujah. Somebody say amen, hallelujah. God, God telling me he's gonna do a healing in your family, Kimberly. Amen. Hallelujah. This is your time. This could be released. Amen. Hallelujah. This is gonna be joy like number four in your life, like number four, said the Lord God. Hallelujah. Teresa, believe and receive it. Do you believe and receive it, Kimberly? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we'll not be able to hold back the things that God has for you. Because you've been really been attacked lately, but God said that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Amen. He said, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. But the plans that the devil has to get you the plans that the devil has against you, it will not work. I hear the Lord say, the plans that the devil had against you, it will not work. God just turned that around, Kimberly. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise for this. Amen. When you praise God for somebody else, God will move for you. Somebody say, Hallelujah. It is done, Kimberly. It is done. Hallelujah. 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 Your family. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about that. Your family, God's going to take care of your family. He's going to move in areas of your life you never thought before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see God's breaking even things that were spoken against your family, curses that were spoken over your family, over you. Amen. It's, it's broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Somebody say, hallelujah. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say, it's done in the name of Jesus. It's done, Kimberly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, the family, uh, by heart problem, God is touching the hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. With a lot of family members that are heart problem. God's breaking that right now in Jesus' name. Believe it and receive it is done. Somebody say, I believe it. I receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. If you got a vision and dream that you need the Holy Spirit to interpret, please uh, type it up or you can get on the Heaven Life Line and want to talk. Amen. Uh, your voice. Prophet is not. It will put the information you may get on there. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teresa, your husband been in my spirit. There is getting ready to be a big breakthrough in your home. Where you where everybody was on fire for God. God said, restoration is coming in your home. Hallelujah. Restoration is coming in your family. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They can run, but they can't hide. I hear God say they can run, but they, they can't hide. Amen. Hallelujah. God's getting ready to change your family around. Your husband, 
He's going back to be what he's supposed to be. Amen. He's getting ready to be delivered. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to be delivered. You're getting ready to see the change coming. Hallelujah. Your children are going to draw even closer to God. Hallelujah. Everybody in family, God has heard your prayer, Teresa, because your faithfulness to my, my daughter. Amen. Hallelujah. And because you've been faithful, God has heard your prayer. Hallelujah. You stood in there. You're faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. And you will see it. Amen. Also, God's going to give you. I see God's getting ready to pay your, your debts. I'm going to speak on everybody debt free. God's giving to pay your debts. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get you out your situation. I hear the Holy Spirit say, I'm getting ready to pay her debts. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Debt free, debt free. I'm not only speaking for Teresa. I speak it on everybody else. God's going to pay your debts off. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't ask me how he's going to do it. He, he, can, he can put the money in the account. Hallelujah. He can put the money in the account. Somebody say, I believe and receive it for myself. Hallelujah. I believe and receive for myself. Hallelujah. You don't have to believe it. it when God tells me something happened. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. Now, somebody just gave me about a dream not too long ago. Who is that? Let me see where that was. It at. Amen. Hallelujah. You dream about a gigantic bags of money falling from the sky. Oh, that's good. Amen. Gigantic bags means that uh, financial breakthrough. That's all what it is. That gigantic bags mean God's giving a release of finance to you. Amen. Uh, I see a check in the mail for a million dollars. I don't know how much it is. I know you, Africa. Amen. Are you from Africa, Adrian? Uh, what part were you from? Where are you from? I see God's releasing money. And I see land. There's some land that owed to you. Amen. And it was taken away. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I see land. Amen. Hallelujah. That was taken away from you. Said the Lord. I see land that was taken away. Taken that with your name on it. Is Adrian on there? Adrian? I hear God. Don't get off y'all because you don't know what God got to say. Hallelujah. Adrian? Girly, amen. Hallelujah. I see land. I hear, I hear God say land. Where's Adrian Girly at? Amen. I see land. Do not get off. Amen. You're going to miss your blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. When God say something, it happens. I see land. Amen. Hallelujah. I see land. Amen. Do you believe it? Amen. I don't know. There's some land that's it's not a little land. There's a lot of land. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why you saw the, uh, the uh, money bag. And this land is going to bless you. It's left. Amen. It was like taken away. And this land is going to bless you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. It's going to be more than you imagine, said the Lord. Hallelujah. It was tied up with family. And God broke that broke that tied up that tried to hold you not to heaven. I see some land. Amen for you, uh, Adrian. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You said you had a dream that my grandma passed everybody. Went to see her body, but when I got to her casket, she woke up. Amen. Oh, okay. Is your grandmother alive? Sheila, uh, Shalise, is your grandmother alive? Shalise Cox, is your grandmother alive? Hallelujah. It's like when she passed you, she stopped. It's like she's warning you what's ahead. Amen. What's going on in your life that whatever the enemy is trying to do, amen, it won't work. Amen. It's like a warning. So when she got to you, amen. Yes, she is in her, her nine. Amen. She's trying to warn you. You need to talk to her. She's trying to prepare you what she sees. But you tell her, thank you. Listen to her. Because something that the enemy is trying to come in, it won't happen. <laughs> amen. So when she stopped, amen, she's alive, amen. That means that she's going to lead the world, amen. She's going to lead, but she wants you to know. It's, she's not going to tell everybody. She, people, uh, she has something for you. It's going to bless you. You need to talk to her. Before she leaves, you need to go see her because she got something for you. going to bless you. Hallelujah with your name. Hallelujah. Somebody say Hallelujah. So I received that. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no bad news. Amen. She can't tell everybody. Praise God. Because if she tell everybody, then they would try to take away from you. All right. It's yours. Said the Lord. Then your dream. She was at the church and the roof caught 
fire and the Lord rescue her. Well, good. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, that means rescue her. God's going to rescue her from the hands of the enemy. So whatever the enemy tried to take her and happen, he won't be able to do it. Amen. God's covering her with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's some good news. Amen. God, stop what the enemy wants to take her, wants to do to her. So that's good news. You need to praise God, uh, Kimberly. Amen. That the devil will not be able to do what he wants to do. Amen. Hallelujah. I've been praying. That. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God, stop the hands what he had planned against your daughter. It won't work. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want you to start speaking Isaiah 54, 17. Amen. Your daughter shall be what God wanted to be. And in hell with the devil, in hell with the devil in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, Sheila, that's confirmation. I did not know that. Thank you, God. You know, it goes to speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. Your, uh, that's my prayer that God's going to use your daughter. Amen. For his glory. Amen. Do Adrian, do you speak that? Do you receive what God's spoken? Amen. So that's good. Amen. God, turn that around. Kimberly. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. That's why I saw land. Amen. For you. Somebody else said, said this had uh, land. Amen. By some land. Amen. Who that talk about some land for themselves? Amen. I receive the land for myself in Jesus. Okay. You can receive it. If if you feel that this is relate to you when I minister to you, that when the prophetic is, in, is, is going like this, if you feel that's for you, believe it and receive it for yourself. All right. If you feel that that's for you, don't don't hesitate. Believe it and receive for yourself. A lot of time when God speak is, is that someone else is also experiencing the same thing. And God say, if that for you, the prophet, you know, uh, 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 with a prophetic flow like that, you can believe it and receive it for yourself, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what you do. Believe and receive it for yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Adrian, do you believe for that land? Because I see some land. Amen. Adrian. Uh, girl in amen. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, ma'am. I receive it. Good. There's a lot of property for you, and you're supposed to be a wealthy woman, young lady, and things has not been working out for you. It's like the enemy has stolen from you, but God said, um, restoration is covered. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restoration is coming to you, Adrian. Hallelujah. The enemy tried to take away from you, but God said, restoration is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. I believe receive it. Hallelujah, Jesus. I give you praise. Hallelujah. I break that, that curse of your uncle has spoken against you, witchcraft against you with that man. They tried to steal from you, but God say he broke that yoke. Amen. Break that curse when they went to the shrine. Broke that. Amen. You are going to see, going to receive papers. Amen. Hallelujah. Legal papers. Amen. Hallelujah. With your name on it. Hallelujah. So receive it and receive it is done. Receive it is done, said the Lord. Receive it is done. Receive it is done. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. It's done. Hallelujah. Uh, well, that land about your husband is tied up because he, he wants to obey God. Amen. That was going to be released. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, they won't be able to hold what God has for him. Amen. Hallelujah. They won't be able to hold or tie up what God has for them. That's what God says. Amen. The hell with the devil. Amen. It is his time and season to be blessed. And so what they tried to hold it down, God's going to release it, said the Lord. I don't know. You tell your husband that. Amen. Oh, no. I'm not going to delete this, precious Sheila. I'm not going to delete this. It's never deleted. Amen. In fact, what I do is I download it. I have not downloaded everything, but I download the uh, the, the uh the, the Facebook, I'll be on alive on my YouTube, on my channel. Amen. So you can see on there. Amen. I'll be sure I'm download. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost wants to minister to y'all tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you believe what God said to you, Teresa? Do you believe what God said to you, Adrian? Amen. Good to see you, Tay Boss. You haven't been online. God said, do not let things get to you, Tay Boss. Amen. What God has spoke and spoken of your life. Amen. It shall be done. Just what he says. That's what God told me to tell you. Whatever God has promised you, it shall be what it says. Hallelujah. Enemy. As trying to deceive you, it's not. But tell you boss, God say, whatever you spoken, believe it and receive it is done. Believe it and receive it is done. The devil cannot stop what God has asked for you. Only way the enemy can stop when we stop believing, we stop receiving what God said. It is yours with your name on it. That's what God said. Now run with it. God is touching your husband, uh, 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 healing right now. Your husband, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. God's healing your husband, Glenda, receive it. Hallelujah, totally healing is coming in his body right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe it and receive it is done. I see the fire of the Holy Ghost on him right now. God is touching. Hallelujah. It is done, say the Lord. It is done, say the Lord. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. Receive it is done. Receive it is done. Receive it is done. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. It's already done. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. That what was meant against you to take away will not be able to take away from you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say your brother, your brother in law is trying to 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 steal land from me. Oh no, he can't steal them. Uh uh. I see angels around that land, that property. The Lord has sent the angel to watch over thee. The Lord has sent the angel to protect. Amen. Hallelujah. Protect what's yours. And God tell me to tell you, he will not let the enemy steal from you. Hallelujah. 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 He may try, but he told me to tell you, he will not be able to steal from you, uh, surely. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, believe and receive it is done. God said the enemy will not be able to steal this land. He will not use your brother it was to steal this land. God said he will not let the enemy steal the land, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah. He was not able to steal the land. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise God. It's already sealed by the Holy Ghost and covered with the blood. It's sealed by the Holy Ghost and covered with the blood. And the devil will not be able to take from you no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you like the almost the underdog in the family, Shirley. But God hand is on you and the devil will not be able to steal from you. Say the Lord. It is done. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. Hallelujah. Okay, it's done, Shirley. You said you had a dream that you was driving and the car went into the deep water during the storm. You had to get out the car and swim and find shelter and scream for help. That devil is a liar. No weapon formed against you, Von Trisha Prosper. That represent the enemy is trying to take over your life and, and pull you in a place and drown you and destroy you. But God said it would not be done in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not be done, Von the, the The plans and the plot that they have against you, it has been reversed and sent back to the center. And God said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The plans that they try to do and try to destroy you is this manipulating witchcraft. They, I see them trying to play with your mind. Uh, uh, the uh, devil like them do mind games. My tricks and God said the plans of the enemy against you would not work, said the Lord. The plans of the enemy against you would not work, said the Lord. Hallelujah. He turned that around. So believe and receive it is done. Hallelujah. Amen. I it was you felt that your heart Bache, was beating the fast. Amen. They're trying to kill you. There will not be no death. I decree the crowd that there will not be no premature death. You will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. So the plans and the plots that the enemy has against you are not von Shea. It will not work, said the Lord Jesus Christ. It will not work, said the Lord Jesus Christ. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, and just been turned around. That plot and scheme that was here to kill you, it will not work. And it goes for anybody else. I decree the plan for anybody on the line in your family. I decree that there will not be no premature death in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You went for help and your help is, is already there. Jesus is right there to help you. Hallelujah. It's done. Amen. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. It's done. You're going to be able to rest better. And the spell that was spoken against you, Don uh, Avanche, it is, it is broken. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe and receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive it as done. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Say I believe it. Hallelujah. 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 I'm on the line right now. You have to get on the line. I'm on the line. All right. All right. I'm on the line, precious. Amen. I'm on the line. So get on the line. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. That curse was spoken against you, Brown Shea. It is open. It's it's open. It's not open. It is uprooted off your life. What is open? God is opening up new doors for you. Amen. God is opening up new doors. The devil tried to stop the plans. Amen. I see a husband coming to your life. 
you're going to be, I, told, I think I told you before that you're going to be a pastor wife. Amen. So God's preparing you, amen, to be a pastor. Amen. So there's been an attack on you. Amen. You get ready to meet your husband. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You won't have to come to him. He's going to come to you. Amen. And you're going to know. And the spirit going to show it won't be no fake. It won't be no. It's a tall God. Tall guy. Brown skin. Amen. Medium built. Amen. And he has a background of businessman. Amen. He's a business and also a, a shepherd of the church. And he's been praying for a wife. And you fit the, the wife that God wants him to have. Amen. You fit the wife that God wants him to have. Amen. And you're going to be well taken care of, said the Lord. Amen. Somebody said, I was see that for her. Amen. Somebody we give God the glory for her. Amen. When you bless God for someone else, God bless for you. Amen. Hallelujah. So this your time. God is, is, is already uprooted and scrubbed all those old soul ties, all those old things that was connecting you. The Holy Spirit is uprooted and separating from you. Amen. They will not be able to tie you down no more. I break the spirit of witchcraft. Even the friends that was used to be your friends. Shouldn't be your friends and the one you got now. God's going to give you new friends. Amen. Because God is taking you to a place you've never been before. And so what you're going through is to mature in God because you're going to be a pastor wife. Amen. Hallelujah. And your husband's going to be there soon. Amen. It's not going to be anybody. It's going to be a man of God that loves the Lord Jesus Christ in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. So that was meant against you. Amen. Hallelujah. God, don't turn that around. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 No weapon formed against you, Dominique. McKinley shall prosper. The torture of the enemy has put fear upon you, trying to deceive you and try to kill you before time. God told me you it will not work. The witch shall die. This witch that has been coming against you for 35, 35 years, 35 years. Amen. How old are you, Dominique? Amen. How old are you, Dominique? Hallelujah. It been messing with your mind. How old are you, Dominique? I'm talking to Dominique. You're gonna get your miracle. Amen. That was been even against you to destroy you. It's really destroy your mind. God said it will not work. It will not work. I send it back to the center right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the plot, the scheme that it have for against you, it will not work, said the Lord. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, starting tonight, you're going to start resting better. You're going to start singing better, said the Lord God. Hallelujah. You have not slept good in a while. But it started tonight, you're going to start sleeping much better, said the Lord God. Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the victory in her life, she's been tortured by the enemy. Tormented. Amen. You have a generation of family that have been dealing with roots, working in roots, uh, uh, Dominique. Amen. And that curse is broken off you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That curse is broken off you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. And the church, amen. Hallelujah. You'll be 29, all right? Before you was born, it was 35 years ago, you was picked by your family to be a, come, a princess of the devil. But the devil is a liar. Amen. Hallelujah. God has broke that. You know, it's like you said, Well, I'm here, God, because look like things was coming against you. Well, that was the devil. But you don't belong to the devil, you belong to Jesus. So that spirit that was trying to keep you and hold you down and try to destroy you, no more. You're gonna feel the peace of God coming around you right now. The, 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 the shackles is breaking off you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody give God the glory. Hallelujah. You're going to feel the presence of God around you, Dominique. The glory of God is around you. Hallelujah, Dominique. I need Dominique. Amen. The glory of God is around you. Hallelujah. Praise God. 29. Hallelujah. Amen. You didn't supposed to see 29, but God made sure you saw 29 because God got work for you to do. I work for you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. So the prophetic is on your life. There's a strong prophetic on your life, so that's why you've been fought by. Amen. You've been fought by the enemy because the enemy is trying to stop that prophetic in you. Amen. And one of you for yourself. But it's been uprooted. But you have a generation of, of witches. you got a generation of witches in your family. Amen. So it's uprooted right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the curse is broken. The tide is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before you was born, 35 years or 29 years, they had already ordained you to be something. But God had his hand upon you. Because you belong to the God, belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you are protected of Psalm 91. Amen. Because you have accept your call and chosen, you are protected, say the Lord. Dominique is there. That's God told me to tell you. You are protected by the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The plans that they have for you will not work. Amen. The soul ties has been broken. 
amen, that was playing against you, it would not work. Stand the Lord. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise and victory for her. Amen. Hallelujah. She has the victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give God the praise for that. Hallelujah. It's already done. Hallelujah. It's already done. Hallelujah, somebody. It's already done. Send the Lord. Somebody give him praise for the victory for Dominique. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe and receive it? Hallelujah, Dominique. Believe and receive it. Amen. The devil, see, see, the devil tried to make you feel that you was restless and you should have never born. But see, to God, God didn't see that way. He loves you. Amen. And so God uproot that spirit that was been, uh, tormenting you at night when you couldn't rest. That spirit is getting the hell out your home. Get the hell around you. Amen. There's peace coming in your home. And God has released the angels. The Bible said the angels are kept around them to fear the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And you do love the Lord. Amen. So there's a presence of God's glory around you right now. Dominique, there's a presence, a strong presence of God around you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Give him praise. There's a strong presence of God around you, Dominique. Amen. You feel that presence? Hallelujah. There's a strong presence of God around you right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. He want baby to touch you. Say the Lord. The plans of the devil has been interrupted by God. Amen. It will not work. Say the Lord God. It will not work. Say the Lord God. You're going to be able to rest better and have peace like that before. In fact, I release peace in everybody home here. Hallelujah. I release peace in everybody home. Amen. Hallelujah. You receive it? Yep, it's done. All right. That's one of here. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. It's done. That's all I want to hear. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Praise God. I release the blessing of God on, on everybody's life. Amen. Hallelujah. I break every spell, every hex and curse. That was spoken against all of you. Hallelujah. That it would not be able to manifest in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that whatever God has promised to all of you, it shall be just what he says. Somebody give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. 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 I break the spell of your family, your children, your job, your ministry. Hallelujah. I break that spell right now. That was spoken against you. I break the spell off your marriage. I break the spell off your marriage to be, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That was meant even against a lot of you. It's, it's, it's broken right now. Hallelujah. You had a dream. You had a dream. Someone proposed to you and you fell on the, and they fell on his knee and cried so hard you didn't see his face. But that's the, God just told you, we're going to get married. She, she says it's confirmation. God said, your husband's coming in. I said that earlier. Amen. I think I did tell you earlier. Yeah, I believe I did tell you earlier from the Holy Spirit that you was gonna get married. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There's gonna be a lot of marriage. Amen. Those that are single, get ready for your husband. Amen. But it's gonna be just what it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. So I believe and receive it, Apostle. Hallelujah. It's done. Hallelujah. There's gonna be a lot of marriages. Amen. And all single women's on this line. Amen. All single women on this line, get ready for your your help, your uh your uh king, and you the queen. Amen. You're not gonna get anybody. You're gonna get who God wants. If we don't want anybody. We want God's will be done. The greatest thing when you have God's will be done. I'm not saying you're gonna perfect investor, but you're gonna get who God wants. Amen. You want God's will against your will. Amen. So God's releasing your your husbands. Amen. No counterfeits. No fakes. No hypocrites. For the real deal. Amen. Say, I believe receiving myself, Apostle. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I always receive what God tell me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There will be no counterfeit. Amen. No counterfeit. Amen. No fake. The real deal. Y'all getting husbands that are going to take care of you. Hallelujah, somebody. And those that are married, you're going to see your husband love you more than ever before. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And they'll be able to take care of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just keep on praising because it's, it's over this year. Amen. For the next 12, 14 days. <laughs> I want you to start saying, uh, preparing a place for your husband in your place. Amen. Lay the mat there, you know, the table mat at your, wherever you live, where you have, and say, this is my husband. Amen. Hallelujah. Lay it there. The bed, this your husband will sleep with you. Amen. Everything, begin to lay in faith. Amen. And watch things happen for you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's already started because you believe what God telling me. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait no more. It's because get ready. It's already been released. Amen. This year, 
See, God moves when everything don't look good. People think when everything looks good, this God moves. Now, the greatest breakthroughs and miracles, if you read the Bible, the greatest breakthrough miracles didn't come when everything looked good. The greatest miracles and breakthrough came when there was a phantom in land, when things didn't look right, amen, when it was down to nothing. That's when God moved because he wants to get the glory out of your situation. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants to get the glory out of your situation. Amen. Nobody gets his glory but him. Hallelujah. So if y'all believe what God is telling me, you will see him soon, ladies, single ladies. If you believe what God is telling me and receive what God has said, you will meet your husband soon. Hallelujah. You don't have to go looking for him. He is, don't be the pursuer. He is the pursuer. God's going to go. God sent somebody, he pursue it. Amen. Amen. He going to come to look for you and you're going to know it's him. There will not be no counterfeit. There will not be no one that comes and break that. The enemy will not be able to send someone just to make it like it's your husband. But God is going to send one. You're going to know. You're going to Holy Spirit will bring in the inner witness. He's going to bring the confirmation. Amen. You're going to know that is your husband in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. You're going to know it, said the Lord. Say, Apostle, I believe it and receive it for myself. Hallelujah. You ain't got to believe it. I believe it and receive it for myself. Hallelujah. Because I know when God, uh, 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 matchmaking, matchmaking, he said, what happened to yours? Well, he didn't do what he's supposed to do. I forgive him. Amen. I forgive him. He didn't do what he was to do. He was sent to me, my ex-husband. But God has, God has someone else. Amen for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, give God the praise. Hallelujah. It's happening now. Amen. It's happening now. Amen. Hallelujah. Your husband is right there at the door. Hallelujah. Praise God. And those single men, you were looking for a wife. Your queen is right there. Hallelujah. You're not going to get anybody. And your women's not going to get anybody. God's going to take your husband and make them a king. And you be the queen. And treat you like a queen. Somebody say, I receive that for myself. Hallelujah. You're going to see the change in your husband. Hallelujah. You have to believe and receive it. It's already done. If you believe and receive what God's telling me, you're going to see the change. You're going to see the husband come in. You're going to see the turnaround. You're going to see the breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. So everything that was spoken negative over every one of you, it is uprooted and destroyed right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say, I believe it. If you're on the heaven life line, say, I believe it right now. Hallelujah. I will see the change in my husband. Hallelujah. Somebody say, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Don't let the man worry you. God's given to move with your husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it is done. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. You're going to have a new husband. Hallelujah. And then you've been praying for your wife. You're going to have a new wife. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. So the curse that was spoken against you, that your husband is going to change, the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. No more looking. You don't have to worry about it. They're going to come to you. Hallelujah. You don't have to be the pursuer. Don't go looking for somebody else. And don't go take somebody else's husband. And don't go take somebody else's wife. God got somebody for everybody. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. If your husband out there doing something, he got to be here. He got no peace. Don't be like ants in his pants. Ain't no witchcraft. Ants. I mean, he don't have no peace because he's going to do what God says. Amen. The devil is a liar. But he had planned against your husband. And God's getting ready to separate some of you husbands that have been around the wrong friends. God's getting ready to separate your husband from around those friends. They will not be able to intercept or interfere in your marriage, said the Lord God. Believe and receive what God is telling me. Hallelujah. Amen. God said they will not be able to uh, mess up your marriage. Hallelujah. It is broken right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, somebody say fire. fire. I release fire on them. Hallelujah. The fire. Oh, Amen. They're going to dream. They will have sleep and rest. I love my wife. I got to do right with my wife. Amen. Hallelujah. They're going to be the man, a God, a husband. They're supposed to be a godly husband. Hallelujah. A provider. Amen. A supporter. Amen. Hallelujah. The one's going to be there by your side. Amen. God's given to change those husbands. Those that are married, they're going to be treating you like a queen. Amen. They're going to respect you and talk good about you and brag about you. Said the Lord. Is anybody there receiving and believe it? Hallelujah. It's done. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. Starting now as I speak. Amen. The fire is going to be upon them. And they won't rest until they do what's right. God's will going to be done. Somebody say fire. Fire, 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 fire on your husbands. Hallelujah. They're going to start treating you like a queen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
going to try to start respecting you. Amen. And, and, and those hoochie mamas and all they're trying to take away, they won't be able to take your husband. Amen. And the friends will not be able to get in the way of your marriage. Amen. Same thing with men with your wife. Uh, 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 the, the friends around will be not be able to take, take uh, 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 still move your husband out the way. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch your back on friends. Everybody is, is not your friend. Especially you got a good marriage, they will try to come in and bring in confusion. And God going to let you know if, who's for you in your marriage. Amen. Who's not for you in the marriage. Amen. For so they will not be split a brother in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Believe and receive. I see the husband. I see God moving. I see the angels are working on your behalf right now. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost has been released. I see the angels working on your behalf right now. I see that everybody has a child. Everybody has a son and a daughter. If they are in prison, get ready. They're given release out of prison. If you got a nephew in prison, if you got a husband in prison, uncle, father, whoever in prison, this is for the men. They're getting ready to be released out of prisons. Amen. If you have a daughter, a mother, or, or, or somebody have a wife, or whoever in prison, God's going to release them out of prison. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive I see God is breaking the, the prison doors down, the ones behind prison. And there are people in prison with themselves, and God is breaking that prison wall that those are in bondage for a long time within themselves in prison. I see God is removing that curse off of them. The bondage of their prison since they were a child is broken off in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't care if the child, whoever, God said it's uprooted and disgraced. I believe in receiving for myself, Apostle. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's done in the mighty name of Jesus. It's done in the mighty name of Jesus. Every generation curse that was spoken against anyone on this line it is uprooted right now. It shall not be on you no more from this day on. Carla, God is doing something great in your life. I see God say, I'm doing a new thing. Your name is Carla. I see you on the line. Amen. Carla, amen. I see God is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Yeah, he said, behold, the old things pass away. I see changes going to happen. It's a new beginning. Hallelujah. For it. And God say, because in your time of distress, uh, 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 trouble, he's gonna give you a devil for your trouble, Carla. Amen. Carla, believe and see, God's gonna give you a devil. He restored devil back to you. What was taken away, God said, I'm restoring devil back to you, Carla. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Somebody praise God, for Carla. I hear God, uh, Carla. I need you to respond back. Amen. Hallelujah. The God's talking to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's gonna give you a devil. Amen. When they tried to tear you down, God said they won't be able to tear you down. Hallelujah. You get ready to go forth like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Believe and receive it. It's done. Amen. I had told Prophet Tina, she's on the line, about her son was coming out the next day he was in Canada. And it's hard to get out of the Canada prison. She believed it and received it without hesitation. The very next day, her son came out of this prison. They release him. God is no respected person. If you believe what God tells me, I know when God tells me something, it happens. Amen. Hallelujah. You believe it and receive it, it's done. Hallelujah. I told somebody that it was going to get a big amount of money from a suit, and they got it. Hallelujah. They got more than they asked for. Hallelujah. When God tells me something, don't take it lightly. Amen. Hallelujah. In your very pocketbook, you, some of you are going to find money in your pocketbook. Cash money. Cash money. The angel of prosperity is here on this line. The angel, don't tell me it don't happen. It don't happen. Plenty. I saw God had the angel put money in the account. Amen. Hallelujah. The angel of prosperity, you're going to open up your pocketbook. I'm going to, I believe you see that for myself. Hey. Hey. I believe you see this. I know God. I believe. I see that's kind of faith. I got, I got that crazy faith. I believe that possible. You're going to find money in your pocketbook. Amen. Some of you account is very low. Amen. God is going to build your account. Amen. That you have more than enough. I see God is rearranging people's bank account. Amen. If you have a checking account, saving account, if you don't have no bank account, get your bank account. I see God. I'm not talking about a stimulus check. I'm talking about money. I see money coming in people's account. Unexpected money. Hallelujah. Amen. God is building account because he's building for the, for the, don't look at what's going on. President Trump going back in there. Listen, 
is coming back in there because the Democrats go in there because it's going to be a mess. But God's put them in there because the, 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 uh, America is giving it prosper like never before. Amen. Hallelujah. You get ready to see breakthroughs. You get ready to see money coming in your account. Amen. Is anybody there? Hey, I believe in receiving for myself. Nobody got to tell me to, know to receive. Lord, I believe and I receive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 I break the yoke of poverty off everybody on this line right now. That you'll never be broke again the rest of your life. Amen. Honey. Even when you feel you get low down, God's going to increase. He's going to bring an increase on your finance. Say, increase is coming. Somebody say, increase is coming. Somebody say, increase is coming. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. Say, increase is coming. Somebody say, increase is coming. Hallelujah. Somebody say, increase is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop thanking the Lord for it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone has a bad sinus problem. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is touching you right now in your sinus. Amen. Someone has a, a sinus problem. Amen. God is touching you right now. Amen. In your sinus. Amen. You Sometimes you uh you have a hard time to breathe, but God is touching you right now. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive it. It's done. God is uh, 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 touching your sinus. It's almost like an asthma problem. If I'm talking to you, say, I believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Amen. I see. I believe it. Amen. God is taking away, but you can breathe right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Breathe yeah, right now. You, breathe right now, like never before. Hallelujah. You're going to start breathing better. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Touch your respiratory. I also see when someone has a thyroid problem. Amen. And God touching your thyroid that you won't have no problem in your thyroid. Amen. Hallelujah. I see the lung is open up. That whoever had the breathing problem, I see the lung is open up. You're going to start breathing better, like number four. Somebody say, Amen. I receive that, Apostle. I receive that. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going away. Hallelujah. Someone in lower part of their back, they have been having pain in the lower part of your back. Amen. Sometimes it's hard for you to stand up. Amen. Hallelujah. I see the lower part of your back and the pain on your legs. Amen. That's getting permanently. It's going to remove. It was damaged. That's permanently. It's going to remove that pain. It's going to remove that pain in the lower part of your back. And I'm talking to you. Say, I believe in receiving for myself, Apostle. I believe and receive myself. I see it be moved out the way that pain is disappearing right now. Hallelujah. It's, it's a sort of like a, 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 a strong information of hurt. There's something that happened, an accident uh, happened a long time ago, but God is touching you. So I believe and receive it. It's done. I believe and receive it. Amen. You're going to feel heating, the heat of the fire. You're going to feel the heat of the fire going in your body right now. You're going to feel the heat of the fire going down your back right now. Believe it and receive it right now. Believe it and receive it. It's done in Jesus' name. You're going to receive the, the, the fire is going down your back and your leg. Hallelujah. The blood clot is removed. Hallelujah. The blood circulation. I hear God say, blood, blood circulation. Amen. Hallelujah. God is touching you right now. Hallelujah. That blood circulation, your, your sky is pain, your nerve. Amen. God is touching you. You're going to feel the fire. I feel the fire. I feel the fire. Of the Holy Ghost is touching that pain when you couldn't move and walk. It is done right now. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Say, I believe and receive it. Hallelujah. Say, I believe and receive it. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. It's done. That, that fire is going down your leg. Hallelujah. That fire is going down your back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the blood was poor circulating, you're going to feel the circulation is back again. You're going to feel the circulation of the blood going in your leg. So I believe and receive it, Apostle. I believe and receive it, Apostle. Believe and receive it is done. Believe it and receive it is done. Believe and receive it. You're going to feel the circulation in your mouth. And I feel the swelling in somebody's ankle. You got a swelling in your ankle. Amen. God is touching the swelling that's coming down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The swelling is coming down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your blood pressure has been very high. God's bringing that blood pressure down, that hypertension. And the reason why I've been, I've been high because you've been worrying a lot and stressed down. So God just brought the, your blood pressure down. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 You, because you've been getting this headache, a dizziness, and that's not good. So the God has brought the blood pressure down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm believing that whoever has sugar diabetes, that from this day on, you will not have sugar diabetes no more. I believe that for myself, and I don't have no sugar diabetes. I don't speak it. Amen. Hallelujah. 
the sugar diabetes is going, your cholesterol is going down. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Someone has a son on crack real bad and a daughter. God's going to deliver your son and daughter. Somebody say, hallelujah, you're talking to me. Hallelujah. And maybe your niece, uh, nephew, but God's getting ready to get them off the street. They are on crack cocaine. And God's getting ready to get them off of there. I say, I believe and receive it. Father, she's talking to me. I believe and receive it for my loved ones right now. Hallelujah. I believe it and receive it for my loved ones right now. It's done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 And God said, even alcohol problems. Somebody loved one uncle has alcohol problems. God's taking them off that. that they've been on the alcohol for a long time. Amen. For what happened to him. God is taken away. Say, I believe and receive it, Apostle. I believe and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Believe and receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. Is so I talking to you? Believe and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. The breakthrough oh. is right there. The breakthrough is right there. The breakthrough is right there. It's done. Hallelujah. Somebody for the next, for the last five days, you have not been sleeping good. You have not been sleeping good. I'm breaking that spirit of insomnia. I speak the spirit of worration. Amen. You've been worrying about your bills. I told you that God's given to cancel your bills. Amen. Hallelujah. You've been worrying about the, your bills, especially your house, and God's given to take care of that. And so I'm talking to you, say, I believe receive from me, Apostle. Hallelujah. Even the HOA fees, believe receive. God's given to wipe that off, clear up things. Say, so you're talking to me, Apostle. I believe and receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe it and receive it from me. Hallelujah. 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 It's already done. Hallelujah. Believe, receive it. Hallelujah. That person that has a swollen ankle, that, that if you look at your leg, your, your ankle, it has went down. It has went down. Hallelujah. That swelling has gone. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 That swelling is going. You, you see, it's going down. Hallelujah. It's going away from this day on. This would not return no more. All those people that I've been praying for that in their body of sickness, these uh, uh these afflictions would not return again the second time. I speak they who one died. I'm speaking that these afflictions would not return in your body no more. Amen. Hallelujah. These afflictions would not return in your body no more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Somebody with your big yeah, it's gone. Yeah, hallelujah. Believe and receive it, precious. It's done in the name of Jesus. Somebody, a uh, big toe, and you got pain in your big toe, it's your nerves, amen, hallelujah. And that nurse come on, sugar that beat is God is touching that big toe of yours. I want you to believe, receive it. The healing is done in the name of Jesus Christ. So I believe it and receive it. I believe and receive it. It's done in Jesus' name, hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost is on this line, whatever you need, hallelujah. The seven you has ministry, it's been hurled up, but God said, if you believe it, you're going to see your ministry go forth like never before. You're going to see your ministry go forth like never before. Hallelujah. It was tied down by the devil, but God done broke that tie. Amen. I saw the, I saw the Lord tuck the axe and cut it in half. If I'm talking to you, say, Apostle, you're talking to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're talking to me, Apostle. If I'm talking to you, say, you're talking to me. God said, it's getting ready to go forth like never before. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Say, I receive it. Believe it, receive it. It's done. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it is done. Hallelujah. God done broke that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, don't take it, take it lightly when I say money. It means your car. I've been, I had a, a service when the angel, God has sent the angel a prosperity to put money in someone's pocketbook. And it happened. I was in service. It was such a high service of the anointing. And I said, look in your pocket, but there's money in there. And she about the only one who believed it. There's another person who believed it, and it got it too. She had $400 more than she had before. It was not in there. Amen. Hallelujah. She was able to put it in a bank account. Amen. Hallelujah. And not only that, that God is giving it a, a break that curse off a lot of y'all account. Amen. Hallelujah. That money going to come in. And don't forget where it came from. Give God first. Amen. Hallelujah. Pay your tithes. And your, pay your tithes and give more. And watch God do even more. Hallelujah. Said the Lord God. He's giving to take the zero amount in your account. You may have 5000 That's not a lot of money. That can go in one day. He's giving to he's uh, uh, make a thousand for us. Amen. And uh, I'm going to show you Deuteronomy 
God told me to share this with you because we're going to do that. It's only for those that believe receive. If you believe receive it, it's done. Hallelujah. I'm going to go to Deuteronomy, your first chapter. To back up, I always back up what it's saying from the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's giving me to put money in your account. Amen. Hallelujah. The promise is amen and yay. Hallelujah. So he's going to give you back a thousand fourth. Amen. When you didn't have a whole lot in there. And that thousand fourth is going to be a whole lot of money. Amen. I hear God say, uh, somebody can get rid of a gift certificate that was held back. And you get ready to give that. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I received that for myself. Y'all don't see it. Listen, y'all have to receive it. I've received myself. I've been testifying. Every time God says something, I guess money, but I believe received for myself. Hallelujah. And it happened. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 1. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's verse 1, uh, uh, chapter 1, Deuteronomy, verse 10 and 11. It says this, and the Lord your God has multiplied you. That's what God's given to multiply his people. Just be faithful. I want you to read that over for the next 30 days. And watch God put money in your account. Watch God put a hand. And don't forget where it came from. You tie off that and you give back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And as you do that for God, he's going to multiply it more. Look what he says it's going to do. He said, the Lord your God has multiplied you. And, and, and look today, you are like you look, uh, you are as numerous as the stars of the stars of heaven. He's going to have more than enough. Amen. Hallelujah. It said, verse 11 said, May the Lord, the Lord, the God of your fathers, add to you a thousand times, hallelujah, a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you just as he had promised you. Ha, hallelujah. Amen. Say, I received that. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 1 9 10. That's what God's ever speaking. Say, uh, uh, I, I, hey, you gotta worry about that, God. I believe and receive that. Amen. That is Deuteronomy, verse chapter 1, verse 9 and uh, 10 and 11. Hallelujah! 10 and 11. Amen. Amen. God's taking that yoke of burden that you have no less money, that you have more than enough. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, Deuteronomy, the, the uh, the 28th chapter, verse 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Speak that over your life. I'm going to speak that over my life. I'm already speaking 20 and 1. Amen. Deuteronomy 1. Everybody got that? Put it up there, Natalie. Deuteronomy, the first chapter, verse 10 and 11. Amen. And 11. Everybody got that? I want you to start speaking that. Amen. As you speak that, you're going to see the thousand times come in you. Not just a, a thousand times. That's a lot. Amen. Hallelujah. And believe and receive it, you're going to see a thousand times that you had before. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because God wants to get his people in a place that they're able to do more in the kingdom. And whatever God needs, that you're able to give back to him. Amen. If you stay faithful to what he says, you're going to see the blessings overtake you. And that's what he want to do. Amen. How to take you to a place like you never had before. He wants to get you out your comfortable zone. He wants to get you out of local bar and to the blessing that you're able to give back and do what he has. I promise you. If you believe and receive it, you're going to see it happen. Say, I believe it and receive it. Hallelujah. Say, I believe it and receive it. I believe it and receive it. It's done. Hallelujah. You're going to see the overflow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I speak blessings on your body. Where everybody was sick in the body. None of you on this line, none of your family member or you is going to have coronavirus. I break that curse of coronavirus. It's the spirit of dragon. Amen. It's a dragon spirit. It comes from Satan. That you won't have it, your family won't have it, none of you will have the co virus. Amen. Hallelujah. In fact, God's getting ready to give it a co virus. Amen. I've been praying that. He's getting ready to give it a co virus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. He's, getting ready. He's not going to let this happen the rest of the uh, rest of our life. No, that's the devil. is a liar. That's what the devil wants, and that's what the other people want. Amen. But it won't happen because they want the government to run the, the world. It will not run. Amen. God's because people are praying. So you won't have it, your children won't have it, your family won't have it. And if anybody have it, it's going to be uprooted off their body. They are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be being received for your family. Be being received for yourself. It is done right now. Covid virus will not be able to touch you. Covid virus will not be able to touch your family. Covid virus will not be able to touch your children. Amen. Touch any your husband. None of you. Wife, children, even your husband to be. Your, your wife to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I believe and receive it. Hallelujah. There's going to be a triple protection around you. There's going to be a triple protection around you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. A lot of you gonna come back to this apostle. I went to my bank account and what I had in there, God owed me an overflow. Hallelujah. God get the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, God is your mercy. I listen, I believe receive for myself. I don't know how God gonna do it, but he said the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Amen. God is getting ready to build an overflow of abundance of, of, of finance. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to get favor your credit. Amen. I told you about the credit. Well, my credit went way up. Hallelujah. My credit points went way up. But the same with y'all. Those that believe in receiving God's giving to raise your credit points up. Is anybody on the line? Hallelujah. I told you God's going to move for you. He don't did mine. He raised one time 29, one time 30, 30, and raised one 40. Amen. If your credit is low, God's going to raise your credit points up. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Speak prosperity. Amen. Job. Speak that scripture over your, over your family, and they're going to get a job. Amen. Let them know that God did it. Amen. Hallelujah. Over your daughter. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's already done. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those credit, I speak favor on your credit points. Your credit gonna go up high. Mine's gonna start going up high. Amen. Hallelujah. God's gonna get rid of all that garbage off your off your points. I mean, off your credit. Amen. It's gonna build it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody. Hallelujah. Don't teach you how to buy stock for your money. God said, in the, the day before the Lord Jesus Christ coming by, we're not leaving out here broken down with nothing. Amen. The time of Phantom, Isaiah, amen, was one of the richest men. He was more rich than his father. People didn't realize that. He went to the Phantom even, even greater than his father. Isaiah went to a Phantom greater than his father. See, people don't even read the Bible. Amen. That's in Genesis. I'm going to show you. I was backing up with the word of God. The God had me to listen to that because we're getting ready to walk in that blessing. If we the seed of Abraham, the seed of blessing be upon us. Amen. The same blessing that was on Isaiah, Abraham, in Jesus' name, is going to be on you. Somebody said, I received that for myself. Hallelujah. Isaiah, I, I mean, Isaiah, Isaac was richer than his father. He went to the phantom. He did the same thing that his father, amen, with his wife, amen. And when he did that, amen, the king, he, got, he got even more, amen. He got even more. He had blessing even more. That is in uh, uh, Isaiah, when he went to that, amen, when his went to that fellow, amen, amen, he had more than he had before. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise God. He had more than he had before. Isaac was more richer. I'm looking up the scripture, amen. Isaac was richer than he was before. Hallelujah. Anybody there? Wherever his hand touched, he was rich. He wasn't poor. Amen. He was rich. Amen. That was in Isaiah, the 26th chapter. I want you to read that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And God gave him more than he had before. God gave him more. It's in Isaiah, the, uh, the 26th chapter, where Isaiah was said, down there was a phantom in the land of Canaan. There was a phantom. Well, this young virus is like a phantom. Amen. And you notice, if you read that, I can't read the whole thing. Read it, take time. Isaiah went to the same thing with his, his father when he went to Egypt uh, with, with, with Sarah. Amen. The blessing was right there on the enemy camp. But this is what God's getting ready to do. He's getting ready to give us money for my enemy. And the Bible says the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Amen. He has given us power to get wealth. Amen. So Isaac, amen, did the same thing his father did. Amen. But the king blessed him. And he had more than, than his father had. Amen. And so God is going to do the same thing. You believe that? It's going to happen for you. Say, I believe and receive it from the apostle. Say, I believe it and receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you the, the greatest breakthrough does not come when everything comes good. The greatest breakthrough of blessings or overflow comes when there's a phantom. And because there's a phantom in this land, amen, if you've been faithful to God, he will not bypass you. You're going to be the one that's going to have more than enough. Say, I'm the one, apostle. I made my mind to be in God's will to be at the faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe in everything. That's, I know that's not Isaiah. That's Genesis. That's Genesis chapter. We're talking about Isaac. I'm sorry. I, mean, I was saying Isaac. I was saying Abraham's son. And I, and I was saying Isaiah. In chapter 26, I want you to read that. You're going to find chapter 26. 
chapter 26, mommy, I'll talk to you after. Chapter 26, Genesis chapter 26. You're going to see that right there about how Isaac was even richer, one of the richest men. See, people don't read the Bible and you'll understand. The breakthroughs does not come when everything comes. The greatest breakthroughs and miracles release come when everything don't look good. God loves to show up and show off. Amen. Hallelujah. And get the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said that you're talking. Now you're talking. Amen. Hallelujah. That same thing that God wants to release on his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like that. I'm the one in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The money that was tied up. Amen. The inheritance that was tied up that the inheritance is still from you. God is untied it because you choose to believe and receive what God tells me to tell you. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Read it. You'll see what I'm talking about. He came one of the richest. He came even richer than his uh, father did. He was one of the richest people that Job and Abraham. See, Isaac is the seed of Abraham. Isaac is the seed. He's his son. It wasn't the other son. Now he had other sons. Abraham had other sons. But Isaac was the Isaac was the one that was the richest that had all of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And because you're the seed of Abraham. Amen. And you the seed of Abraham, that was on Abraham. And his son is on you. And somebody said, I believe in seed for myself. So you, if you believe what God is telling me, you're going to see it. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I know I believe what God telling me. You don't sit down and say anything. I have seen God move. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah, I mean, uh, Genesis, the 26th chapter. I want you to read that. How Isaac uh, uh, came very rich. Amen. God even did with Jeremiah. Jeremiah, when, when, when the Lord let Nebuchadnezzar to, uh, uh, to uh, destroy Israel because of disobedience, amen, rebellion against God, God had uh, uh, Jeremiah to plant a seed in the time of that phantom. Plant a seed and buy a land. For we, when it was over, he was, he was blessed and taken care of. God don't move when everything look good. God move when everything is, is the, this is not the time to stop planting seeds. This is not the time to stop giving to God. This is time. I'm not asking for nobody, no money. Now, I don't want you to take that. I'm doing this to ask for money. That's not, I'm in the, in the spirit of God. This is not the time to, uh, 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 not to tithe. You cannot afford nothing. This is the time to tithe. Amen. Pay your tithes. And if you have not tied, catch up because God's going to bless his people and put them in a place that they will have more than enough. Amen. Never be broke, but have overflow. Somebody said overflow and abundance. That is God's will, people. Hallelujah. Somebody said hallelujah. Hallelujah. I never forget there was a young lady. She she didn't have no money, so she got about got $5. And she tied off, off that $5 instead of 50 cents. She tied off and make a dollar and a half. And she kept on tight, and God said, "No, take it, Amen." Because she's doing it from her heart. And she took that, and she she got a job making a whole lot of money, Amen. She took that and 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 tied, and kept on the tie, kept growing, Amen. It's not it's not the amount of tithing; it's your obedience that you tie when you get the money, Amen. Hallelujah. And she was faithful. She got fifty dollars. She put five dollars, and she kept on tying. And then she God took her from the the local bar. And to the, to the spirit of, of blessings, overflow, hallelujah, that she will have more than enough. Hallelujah. And that's what God wants to do with you. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm living in the overflow. Say, I'm living in the overflow. Say, the changes have already started. I don't hear nobody talking to me from the Lord. Say, the changes have already started. Say, I'm living. I'm living in the what? In the overflow that I believe and receive it for myself. Hallelujah. I want to share that. And if you believe what God is saying to me, 2 Chronicles, let's go to 2 Chronicles. Amen. Hallelujah. I think I'm going to do around 21, 14. I want you to read that too. Read, you get the first verse of Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Then the next 13 verses is going to manifest in your life. Amen. 2 Chronicles 23. I want you to go that. Amen. 2 Chronicles 20, 20. 2 Chronicles 20, 20. Uh, uh, prophets not to put the, the, the scriptures up, amen. Second Chronicles 2020. It's the time that you're gonna be blessed. When the when when Elijah went to the widow, they didn't that's when it was a phantom. When Elisha went to the uh, uh to the woman, amen. There was time of phantom and they got blessed. And the, the blessing, the big blessing don't come when everything looks good. The big blessing comes when there's a phantom and when everything don't look like it's going your way, hallelujah. So, if you believe what God telling me in Second Chronicles twenty twenty, 
You know, he says, so they gathered, uh, got up early in the morning and went into the wilderness of Tekua. As they went out, Je Jehovah stood and said, hear me, O Judah. This is talking to you as well. And you, habitats of Jerusalem, believe and trust in the Lord, your God, and you will be established and secure. I mean, that's what God, what, you, what I'm saying is God wants his people to be secure now. He don't want you just enough to get by. Some people, I want just enough to get by. I says, no, no, I want just get enough to get by. I want to live in old flow that I can be a blessing to someone else. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be a blessing to someone else. Amen. Hallelujah. So he said, believe in the Lord that God, trust in the Lord, your God, and you will be established, secure. Believe and trust in the prophet and, 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 and his prophets and you and succeed. You will succeed. So you believe what God telling me, it's already done. I believe in God and and I'm I'm blessed in this time of famine right now. But I see I'm going to be blessed even greater. Hallelujah. I'm not going to just be enough. It's going to be over and above. Hallelujah, somebody. Over and above. And my husband live over and above. You got to begin to see the way God sees something. Amen. Hallelujah. Take the limitation off of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Take the limitation off God. Begin to see it. Amen. Be in a place that you be able to. Not live just be a millionaire. I want to be a multi-millionaire up to a billionaire to be a multi-billionaire. That is God's will. They were billionaires in the Old Testament. Don't you know the same thing on them that God wants on you in the church? Amen. Why? To continue to advance the kingdom of God. To continue to, to get the good news about Jesus Christ out. Amen. If your motive is wrong, don't expect it. But if your motive is to help and do what God says, Amen. You're going to see that change. You're going to have more than enough that you may be to give more back to others as well to help them to get there. Amen. And not be staged and sheep in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Believe it and receive it. Now, this is what we're living in right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. I believe it and receive it. Amen. It's done. Hallelujah. I got to go. Amen. I've been on here a little longer. Amen. We get ready for the festival, the, the conference. I mean, the women's conference starts tomorrow at 12 o'clock to 5. Amen. I don't know how many people are going to be there because, you know, with this, with this was going on and not many people make reservations, but we're still going on. We're going to tape it tomorrow as we 12 to 5. We're going to have four speakers. My spiritual daughter is very highly anointed. Amen. They're going to preach and teach and also answer questions. Amen. Hallelujah. And whatever God leaves them. Amen. At 12 o'clock tomorrow at 5. Amen. We're going to have it. Yours truly, Apostle, who's over this and uh, host this as well. Amen. We have prophetess Tina Cash, my assistant, one of the speaker. We have uh, prophetess Natalie Washington, uh, my spiritual daughter, one of the speaker. We have prophetess uh, uh, Venus Caldwell, my spiritual daughter, a speaker. We have prophetess and pastor Victoria James, one of the speaker. Amen. You're going to be blessed. Amen. And then yours truly Sunday, I will be speaking. I was ended off speaking. Amen. Sunday. So it's two days. Amen. And sorry you couldn't make it. Amen. And some of you may can get out now, and some of you may not get it, but if you get Sunday, fine. It's 12 to 3 o'clock, amen. And some people are already here, make reservation, amen. And the, the registration is free. I tell you, registration is free, amen. We got the coming up of the conference coming up, and the women want to have that still, amen. The reason why the people didn't uh, make re reservation because they didn't know whether they'd be able to travel because of the co virus. But thank God that God gave us favor to be able to do it, amen. Hallelujah. We also have problems in that important that we have cash application. We have app, a cash application. When you put the other cash application in my uh, telephone number, uh, uh, Prophet is that the amen. We have PayPal and we have cash application. Uh, application. So she'll put that up there if you want to make a donation in this ministry. You can do it on cash app, amen, with my telephone number, or you can go on the website uh, and go into donate in PayPal, amen. Hallelujah. Put that up there, Natalie. Amen. I'm going to tell you, put that up there. I had started on it, so I decided to uh, uh, add that on the cash apps, all right? On the uh, Lord's Poshman, the Lord's Poshman, and the telephone number that they have to uh, dial into the cash in. My number. She knows my number. All right? I thank God for you all there. If you believe and see what God, you're going to see the changes. I speak it. Amen. you. That's right. You're a multi-millionaire, and I'm going to be a multi-millionaire. Now, only you're a multi-millionaire, millionaire, your husband is it. Amen. Your wife is, <laughs> you're going to be have more than enough. You're not going to live just enough to get by. The spirit of poverty, the spirit of like and slight is broken off you. Just enough to get by. Non sufficient funds, uh, uh, overdrive checks, all that is broken off you right now in Jesus' name. You're going to start walking in the overflow in the blessings in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah
Praise his holy name. I hope you've been blessed tonight. Amen. By what God has spoken. Amen. We'll be back on tomorrow. Amen. At 12 o'clock. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you can come back and listen to it and receive it for yourself. What God's doing, but I see God moving. Amen. For you, I did what you want me to do. I was, was going to uh, teach on something else. Teach, but God said, no, I want you to pray and bless the people. Amen. I want you to pray and bless the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And somebody said, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Praise his whole name. Prompt is that to put the information you want to do by cash app. We want to do by PayPal. It's up to you. Hallelujah. We thank you for being on the line tonight. Amen. And don't forget, we have prayer uh, 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 Monday, Tuesday, and uh, Thursday. And if I, we have a Wednesday, if I'm not on, but we have Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Amen. And uh, uh, Saturday night. But we will, I don't think we're going to have it this Saturday night. And we're not going to have it this Sunday night. So because of the uh, the, uh, the conference, we're not going to have prayer at Saturday and Sunday because we have the conference. Amen. So we'll, we'll restart it back on Monday in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. And the prayer line is 10 o'clock, uh, not 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Top is going to put the information up and uh, that you need to know. And if you'd like to talk to me and make an uh, appointment to be counseling, she will give you my assistant, Prophet uh, Tina Cash. Never that you can call and make an appointment for me to talk to you and counsel you or coach you, whatever you need. If you'd like to be part of this ministry, she's going to uh, tell you, uh, uh, call my assistant, and she will talk to you and give you that, what, what the God that we have. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God, because I always pray for the ministers. I always pray for the people in this ministry, the disciples. I always pray for the partners and their family. I always pray for those on the divine connected to us as well. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank you for being on the line tonight. I know God's going to truly bless all of you. And I see blessings, no curse. Too many curses have been spoken. Now it's time to see the overflow of blessings in your life like never before. And watch God move for you like never before. Amen. We love you so dearly. You have been such a blessing to us. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you for being on tonight. And look for what God is changing. And come back and test for us. already done. Love you so very much. Amen. I pray no evil shall befall you. No play will come to your dwelling for the Lord will have an angel in charge over you to watch over you and direct all the ways. But one thing is more important than everything, salvation. I pray for those that have been listening out there. If you don't know Jesus, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right now. Say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I ask forgiveness of my sin. I ask you to wash me with your blood and make me whole, Lord Jesus. I believe in the word. I confess the word. I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me. And third day he rose from the dead. I thank you for forgiving me of my sin right now. I renounce my old ways and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. If you receive that, you now as child of God. Now that I receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, amen. Evidence of tongues. I receive now the gift of the Holy Ghost, evidence of tongues. That I'm able to walk more in the spirit and in the flesh. And walk more in the power in Jesus' name. I speak that for any of your family members need to be saved as well. That you receive it and also receive the Holy Ghost. And those that have already got received the Holy Ghost, you need to start doing Jude 120. Pray in the Spirit to build up your faith more. <coughs> pray in the Holy Ghost to build up your faith more in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray according to the Spirit of God. And those that by slide, I pray that you will repent, confess your fault, and come back into Jesus Christ. Amen. And let his will be done against your will. Amen. I thank you for being aligned and ask the blessing be upon you. And to seal by the Holy Ghost and come with the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you in Jesus' name. Everybody be encouraged. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything's working out. Uh, 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 Prophet uh, uh, Lucia, it's already done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, somebody. It's done. Speak it done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Love you. Throw some loving kisses. Bye-bye.